Bill Ball here. We are in Port Charlotte this morning and we're going to be tearing off a shingle roof. It's about 20 years old. Uh, the insurance company called our customer and told them that, actually sent them a letter and told them that their roof is a little bit too old and it needs to come off. So, so I'm going to take you from start to finish on the process of how to remove a shingle roof. So the first thing you'll want to do is remove the vehicles from the driveway or anything that might get damaged and then safe off the entire area, any kind of garage doors or windows or anything that you don't want to have damaged. Here comes the crew now. They have a dump trailer. Now you may or may not have a dump trailer. Uh, if you don't, you can get a dumpster delivered, but we, we use a rubber tire dump trailer. So this is Juan. He's going to be in charge of removing the roof today. So Juan, how long do you think it'll take to take uh, get the roof off? Uh, hopefully today we'll get it off all the way. Get it all off, right? Yes. And and you got to get it dried in, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it all depends the rain. Yes, we want to make sure that we get it watertight. Now, whatever you're using to put the uh, roof debris in. You want to make sure that you get it as close to the roof as possible, whether it's a dumpster that you're having delivered. Uh, and if you're having a dumpster delivered, put down some plywood or make sure the dumpster company puts some plywood in the driveway so it doesn't damage the driveway. And you want to get as close as possible because there's a lot of debris that's going to come off the roof and we'll show you as that process starts to happen. So the first step is to get a specialty shovel like this with the teeth and just get under the shingle. And you'll see that, you know, the way he operates the shovel he gets under the shingle and just loosens up all the nails that are under there. That's the first layer that's going to come off. Now, if you don't have a crew and it's just yourself, you know, you work little sections at a time. But if you have a crew, they start working multiple areas. You can see we have another person over here. So if you have a helper or a friend that'll come over, get two shovels, it'll go a lot faster. And just start loosening up all the shingles, just like this. And then after all the shingles are loose, that's when the hard work starts. That's actually carrying all the material from the roof uh, over to the dumpster or whatever you're going to use to put the material in. Now you see here, the boss actually gets up on the roof to work too. Juan is not just the crew leader, he actually works the job. Now, if you'll notice, as Juan is taking off the first layer, there's actually another layer underneath. That is the uh, barrier, waterproof barrier. You know, back 20 years ago when they put these roofs on, they were using tar paper. We have some, something much better today. And you can see on the tar paper, they would actually use these green roofing nails to hold the paper in place. So that's the next layer that's going to have to come off is that underlayment is what it's called. So the first layer comes off is the shingles. The second thing that comes off is the underlayment to get you down to the bare wood. Now, a lot of times um, you're gonna find that there might be two layers of shingles up here. Sometimes it's a surprise and you don't know that there's two layers of shingles until you get up here and start taking it off. This one only has a single layer of shingles. Uh, they call that an overlay. A lot of people have put an overlay over top of their existing shingle roof. Uh, it just makes it a lot harder. There's a lot more material to move. This house actually has a flat roof for a small section as well. Same process for removal. We'll show you that as we get to that part, the flat roof removal. Now one of the crew members begins to remove the shingles that have been loosened. A wheelbarrow is very helpful for the process. You can get a wheelbarrow up in the roof if, if you have one and you're able to and you feel comfortable with it. Uh, so the wheelbarrow makes it a lot easier because what you'll do is load the wheelbarrow with the shingles, you know, just like you would on the ground, uh, but you do it on the roof. Now, some people just carry it. You know, that's another way to do it. You can just carry the material to the, uh, to the trailer, but you can see a wheelbarrow is very helpful. You get much more 
into a wheelbarrow than you can on your shoulder. But if you have many hands, it makes light work. That's what the Bible says. I believe it's the Bible. I'll double check that. Could have been Confucius. It actually was the Bible. Nehemiah 3. Many hands make light work. A piece of wood over top of the uh, trailer or the dumpster nailed to the deck is very helpful. You can see it acts as a slide, but it also protects anything that's underneath. Two things I want to bring to your attention as you look behind me in this video. The first thing is we put a tarp down where we're going to be working to protect the landscape. The other reason is because there's a lot of debris that falls down, nails and whatnot, uh, that we'll catch in that tarp. We also have a magnet. If you can get a magnet sweep, you might be able to rent one from a local hardware store, but we have one. Um, you'll, you'll sweep the whole property with a magnet when you're done to pick up any nails. That way you don't get any flat mower tires or people don't step on any nails, but there are a lot of nails. Now you'll see that men have gotten the deck, uh, gotten the uh, roof down to uh, the underlayment. And the next step will be to remove that underlayment after all the shingles are off. Now what he's doing here now is he's popping those green nails that hold the underlayment in place. He's popping them all off the underlayment. So they'll just have to basically roll up the underlayment. That's the next step in the process, pop all those green nails. See them just rolling down, and there you go. One just fell in the tarp. See all the debris that's in the tarp? That's why the tarp is very helpful. Yeah, and that's why they remove all the nails. That way the underlayment comes up in sheets really nice and easily. Okay. Anytime you come across a ridge vent, and that's what this is, this is how the ridge vent comes off. Just get under it and pry. That's all. It's just held down by nails. You can see first he's popping the layer of shingles that's under the ridge vent. And then the entire ridge vent will just lift right off. It's actually screwed down, so when you take that first layer of shingle it pops up all the screws and he just simply peels it right back missed a screw he's gonna just pop it right off just like that nothing to it makes it look easy there you go and this is the purpose of a ridge vent. You can see here where they actually cut the plywood to give it a little ventilation. You know, that ridge vent protects the attic from water and any kind of uh, you know, insects or anything that might get in, but it also allows ventilation. You can see actually right into the house. That's just the, uh, the attic. There's that vent, ductwork. And you can see where they tapered. You know, the entire roof isn't open like that, just the area where the ventilation is gonna go. And that's what keeps the roof ventilated. And you can see here, now that all the nails are out of the, off the underlayment, it just rolls up nice and easily. This one actually had a double layer of underlayment tar paper. So it looks like now they have to go and take the nails off of a second layer of underlayment. So you'll find that there's probably gonna be two layers of underlayment on your roof. That's normal. And as you can see over here, he's just going right after the two layers in one shot, getting it right down to the bare wood. deck it's just 
the plywood deck. That's all that's underneath all these layers of shingles and underlayment nails. It is very labor intense and there's a lot of material that has to come off. Now if your deck is loose, which you can see here, this deck, can you hit that nail again with this? Show how the deck comes up a little bit. Yeah, see how the deck is a little loose? Well, they're actually gonna go back through and they're gonna renail this entire surface. And that's the next part of the process. And we'll cover that too in another video on how to install the shingles. That's gonna be our next video.